What a wonderful start to the morning. Wow. I was certainly blessed. My title is Away with the Old and In with the New. The removal of the body of flesh, the old nature, which is defiled in its unregenerative state and is rebellious against God, is pointed to and seen in the rite of circumcision, cutting off the physical flesh, and the command to be baptized. It's seen in those two things. This defiled nature that's rebellious against God. This illustration is accomplished, though, by the spiritual circumcision and a spiritual baptism, that giving of a new heart, and that being baptized not with water as John, but he baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. My text is, in whom also ye were circumcised with the circumcision without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God uh -huh. who hath raised him from the dead. It's by our faith we too will be raised like him, and we are now raised with him in mm -hmm. heavenly places. Mm -hmm. The body of the sins of the flesh had to be cut off. And from the start, circumcision was pointing to this. Mm -hmm. That we were dead in trespasses and sin. Amen. In times past, we've all walked according to the course of this world. We were being Gentiles in the flesh and were the uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at that time we were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers of the covenants of promise, with having no hope and without God in the world. It's Christ's death that is our life. Sin had to be taken away, otherwise there is no peace with God. Christ was cut off from the living mm -hmm. for us. Caiaphas, Caiaphas, the high priest, foretold this, prophesied, God used him, and told how one should die that the whole nation should not perish. Amen. That's the body yes. of the church. We'd all perish without him being cut off from the living mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 53. For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Mm -hmm. He shall see the travail of his soul, God Almighty the Father, and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Amen. Amen. Cut out from the land of the living for us a precarious death. The outward circumcision of the flesh was done away when Christ died on mm -hmm. the cross mm -hmm. because then there was a new covenant. Mm -hmm. for the, in Romans 8 it says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh mm -hmm. and for sin condemned sin in the flesh mm -hmm. that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us by faith in his son. Amen. For circumcision verily prop profits if one keeps the law. Mm -hmm. But thou, if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was weak, that old covenant, by the weakness of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ye also have become dead to the law. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Romans 7. 
we be dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another. Yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should be, bring forth fruit unto God. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth the fruit unto death. Mm -hmm. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead, with, wherein you were held, that you should serve in newness of spirit. Amen. And not in the oldness of the letter. Mm -hmm. Amen. That new man. So away with the old and in with the new. Away with the old man and the old nature and in with the new. Mm -hmm. The law was that of earned. The new covenant as seen in baptism is by faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. For Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Mm -hmm. You know, one can be baptized and they just take a bath. And nothing is done. Mm -hmm. but, but with Christ working in your life, he can make you a new creature. He's taken away that picture we have in the baptism of being submerged. That's buried. Yes. That old nature, that old man. We associate with Christ's death of being cut off from mm -hmm. the living mm -hmm. creatures. But as he was raised from the dead to live evermore at the right hand of the Father, we too are raised from the dead because we were dead in sin. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now we live forevermore through Christ Jesus and the faith in him. For he is not a Jew which is one inwardly, neither is that circumcision which is of the outward flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, the circumcision of the heart mm -hmm. in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. Christian Jews back in the time, at the beginning of the church, they didn't understand the new covenant meaning, did they? Because in Acts 15 it said, And certain men came down from Judah, taught the brethren, and said, Except you be circumcision after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Today, circumcision that saves you is in the heart. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. Mm -hmm. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Amen. Mm -hmm. In Ezekiel 11, that new covenant says that I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, uh -huh. and I will take the stony heart out of your flesh, mm -hmm. and will give them a heart of flesh, mm -hmm. that they may walk in my statutes, and keep my ordinances, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. Mm -hmm. Amen. The new covenant makes a new creature. But it has to be that change that happened to that person. Mm -hmm. We have heard this often, you know, that is something, has it been done to our lives? Have mm -hmm. we been changed? Have we seen mm -hmm. our need? And have we been changed? Have we decreased and have him increased? Mm -hmm. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. To be carnally minded is death, and to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, mm -hmm. but the life, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, mm -hmm. And that's <clears throat> what we want. If he dwells in us, he that raised up Jesus from the dead will also quicken your mortal bodies mm -hmm. by his spirit that dwells in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh mm -hmm. to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, we shall die. 
But if through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Amen. 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 I like that illustration of how Jesus baptized with the Holy Ghost. You know, the Holy Ghost is doing this sanctification process, this what separation process. What is holiness? It's being um, set apart. And uh, when someone is consecrated, it's setting apart. Circumcision was that cutting off and separation. Mm -hmm. All these things in the Old Testament was <coughs> signs and types of unclean and clean, mm -hmm. and they need to be separated. Mm -hmm. We need to be separated from this body of sin of the flesh, mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ did that on the cross. Mm -hmm. And it's by our faith and the operation of God and His power and the belief in Him that we can be born again new creatures in Christ Jesus. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed mm -hmm. away. Behold, all things have become new. We need to put on Christ and take off the old man. Mm -hmm. Baptism is as Brother Al was pointing out, a divinely appointed means mm -hmm. for uh, participating in the circumcision of Christ. Mm -hmm. I was with a group that believed that baptism was not necessary. And uh, lots of people believe that today. Or they do it in a way that does not represent the type. You have to be buried, dead, submerged, and raised up to give that picture mm -hmm. of the new creature. As you know, my text here was buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith and the operation of God, mm -hmm. who raised him from the dead. Faith is seen as an answer of a good conscience towards God. Yeah. Uh -huh. And as I've already said, this vivid sign or analogy of this changed life, what it is is a, is a peace with God. It's a good conscience towards God that we may have peace with Him through faith in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In 1 Peter it says, which sometimes were disobedient, we, when once the long-suffering God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a being prepared, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water, like they like figure, wherein to even baptism doth also now save us, not in the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but an answer of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So how important is it? You know, in Acts, it was, what must we do to be saved? Yes. What was Peter's response to him? Repent and be baptized. Yeah, Amen. Right. Uh -huh. And somewhere in my notes, I wonder if the way I jumbled them up and everything. Here it is. Farther down towards the end. Mm -hmm. Mark 16, 15, 16. Go ye into all the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth is baptized. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, uh -huh. but he that believeth not shall be damned. That's right. Yeah. That's a command. Yeah, that's right. We want a good conscience towards God. Yes. Amen. It's declaring publicly our faith and allegiance to one God in heaven, mm -hmm. and uh, it represents that we need to be crucified to our carnal life. It says uh, in Titus, but after the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man appear not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. Yes. By the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost, Amen. which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior that being justified by grace, uh -huh. we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Amen. So it's by His grace 
and by the washing and regeneration of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that we can become new creatures in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can be cut off from the old man. Even when we, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, and by grace you are saved, and hath raised us up together to sit us in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And, you know, we are fools to think that unless, it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 37, Thou fool, thou, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. Uh -huh. yeah. That's that submerged right. okay. death. Uh -huh. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. Mm -hmm. Amen. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. You know, also written, the first Adam was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our life. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. that, lived, that Adam, that race of Adam, that old man, that's death. That's being trapped in our sins that we were without strength to do anything about it. We have been quickened, it says, made alive by Christ. Know ye not that as many of you were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? What about that question? Don't we know that? Therefore we are buried with him in baptism into death, that like as Jesus was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. That whole chapter 6 of Romans could just about be my sermon today. As I looked over that, I could have read the whole thing. It, it just says it so well to us. We need to walk in newness of life. We've been touched by the Master's hand and now changed to be in the likeness of His image. This new spiritual man is being regenerated in the washing and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our old man is planted dead. For it says in Romans 6, 5, For if we had been planted together in the likeness of His death, we shall also be in the likeness of His resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and henceforth we should not serve sin. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The body of sin destroyed, mortified, crucified, separated from us, cut off. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. 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 But now is Christ risen from the dead. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, we were justified by... His resurrection, a sacrifice that was accepted, and therefore we are complete in Him. So raised from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Just as that that I read, really, in Romans 8, seeing there in 1 Corinthians 15. Here in 2 Timothy 2.11. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Walking by faith is a daily circumcision of putting off the old natural man. Mm -hmm. It's a daily circumcision. For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Galatians 3.27. Colossians 3.10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. Renewed in the knowledge after the image that created him. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 
that he put on the new man, which is after God, and created in righteousness and true holiness. Amen. We, praise God, have a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Mm -hmm. And to conclude, I will read uh, Colossians 3, 1 through 5, that we knew, know so well. And if you be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, mm -hmm. and your life is hid with Christ in God. Uh -huh. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, mm -hmm. then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mm -hmm. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon this earth. Mm -hmm. We're still dragging around this flesh. That's right. We want to kill it, but we're still, one day, we will be separated. Mm -hmm. And that Amen. completion mm -hmm. of that picture of being cut off mm -hmm. from this flesh, mm -hmm. glory to God, 